हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2007 एग्जाम इट इज फॉर टू मार्क्स यू नीड टू फाइंड व्हाट विल बी द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम आल्सो इन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे हैव मेंशन दैट दिस इज द इनपुट दैट इज गिवन टू दिस कोड नाउ इनपुट कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड इन वेरियस वेज वन ऑफ देम इज यूजिंग द कीबोर्ड एंड वन मोर वे इज यूजिंग सम इनपुट फाइल प्रोबेबली दिस इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय सम इनपुट फाइल ओके Let's start this question now. You can see there are these three functions. They are only declared, but definition is nowhere given in the question. You can simply ignore this fact. Moreover, in the question they have mentioned some commands along with these functions to specify what is the task that these functions are performing. I haven't just copied those commands because function names are making it clear. push might be used to push some element on to the stack similarly pop may be used to pop a element and the last one flag error it might be used to flag some error or print some error message on the screen okay now you can also ignore this thing that implementation of stack is not showed in the program okay so just ignore it actually there are a few mistakes or ambiguities in this program so just ignore such small things now first line in this program is this one int c m n r so you are trying to declare four variables all of these variables they are of integer type next line it is a while loop so this is the condition of while loop inside these brackets you can see there is this pair of brackets so first solve the innermost pair of brackets that means this one so this says c is equal to get cat that means get a character and save it in c now is this possible can we save a character in a integer c yes it is absolutely possible because all of the characters they are actually saved as a sky values so a sky value is a integer and it can be saved inside a integer variable okay now look we have solved this innermost pair of brackets just come to one outer level that means this one now whatever character was assigned to c if it is not equal to eof or end of file that means there is some character end of file will be somewhere here okay so if there is some character then enter in the while loop okay so first line of while loop is saying if s digit c s digit is a predefined function you need not define it but you need to include its header file it is probably present in type.h maybe c type.h so the header file is c type.h this line will give a error and you need to write hash include c type.h if you are using s digit okay anyways i have already told you that there are some ambiguities so just ignore these small things what is the purpose of this function suppose whatever you have entered that was saved in this character c or integer c suppose you have entered 7 now 7 is a digit in this case s digit is going to return 1 and 1 means true okay so it is if true then push c that means whenever you are going to enter any digit from 0 to 9 that will be automatically pushed down to a stack and if you enter some character suppose you enter small a like this then s digit this function is going to return 0 0 means false so if false because the condition is false you will go for the else block okay anyways let's analyze the next lines of code so we have analyzed till here till here it says that if any digit is entered it will be pushed down to the stack next line is if sorry it is else if that means if this condition is false then only you will be executing this line so in else also you have written one more if what is the condition of this if it says if c contains plus or multiply that means if it is a digit for example 9 that will be pushed on to a stack but if it is either plus or it is multiply in that case you have to execute this block okay let us analyze what is present inside this block 
so there are these three lines of code first line says pop and whatever is popped save it into m see return type of this function pop is a integer okay so whatever is present on the top of stack it will be popped and it will be returned that has saved an m so topmost element has now gone again you have written pop that means the element which is now on the top that will also be popped and it will be saved in m so you have popped two elements that are present that were present on the top of stack in next line you are trying to check what was present in c look if you are inside this block that certainly means c can contain either plus or star only okay now here you are trying to check if it is plus then n plus m has to be assigned to r and if it is not plus then n star m has to be assigned to r okay this is ternary operator it is very similar to if else suppose the symbol that you have entered or that was present in end of file was plus in case of plus take the top two elements of the stack remove them perform their addition and again save the sum onto the stack c push r that means whatever was the sum that is again pushed onto the stack had this symbol been multiplied in that case this condition will be false hence n star m will be assigned to r okay so in that case their product is pushed onto the stack let us see it with the help of some example have a look suppose the input is 2 7 1 Three plus plus star. Okay, what will happen? Two. It is a digit. Hence, push it onto the stack. Seven is a digit. Push it onto the stack. One is a digit. It will be pushed onto the stack. Three is a digit. It will also be pushed onto the stack. Then you have plus. It will not be pushed onto the stack. Rather, you will execute this block. okay this time this condition will be true and you have to execute these three lines that means top element will be removed and it will be saved in m so m is currently 3 and one more element it will be removed and it will be saved in n okay now the symbol was plus so m and n they will be added 3 plus 1 is 4 and the result is saved back onto the stack okay so we were here now next symbol is again plus that means again two elements they will be removed from the stack so these two and they will be added 7 plus 4 7 plus 4 is 11 11 is pushed on to the stack once again now the next input character is star so remove two elements that means 11 and 2 will be removed multiply them that is 22 and push the result back so 22 is pushed back onto the stack like this okay this is how things are working i want to explain one last point see first character that we entered was 2 so this get char will save 2 inside c which is not equal to end of file so you will enter this loop first line in this loop is if is digit c 2 is a digit so this condition will be true because if condition is true you will push it on to the stack this 2 is pushed on to the stack then this else has to be skipped because if was true this is skipped as well as this else is also skipped okay now you can see this is executed we have skipped till here also this one is skipped and here you can see while loop block has ended that means you will skip this entire part and you will come back to this line only so again it is a digit okay so get char that means 7 is saved in c again it is a digit it will be pushed this entire part is skipped again you will come here so whenever any digit is encountered it will be simply pushed on to the stack and the program will again ask for a character okay so digits are accepted let us see what are all the valid characters that can be accepted 0 to 9 all the digits will be accepted 
if the input is not a digit then plus and star they are also accepted so second thing is plus or star what is the third thing that can be accepted if this is false suppose whatever you have entered it is not a digit and suppose this is also false that means whatever you have entered it is not even plus or star so you will skip this part also you will try to execute this it says else if c is not equal to white space that means if it is not even white space then flag error so some error message will be given so you can just see from here that three kinds of things are only accepted 0 to 9 digits plus or multiply or a white space that's it see if you are trying to check this condition that means if you are here it automatically means this condition and this condition was false okay so only things that are accepted are these three now have a look when will this loop end when this condition becomes false that means when you reach end of the file or end of the input automatically this condition will become false and you will come out of the loop and you have to execute this line this line says print f percent c pop that means whatever is present on the stack currently you have to print it okay so let us just see what will happen with this given input there is one important point just listen to it carefully so first quickly let's just find out what will be present on top of stack after just this input has completely been seen so first one is five it will be pushed onto the stack then 2 is pushed onto the stack then you have to remove two elements from the stack and multiply them so 5 into 2 is 10 and 10 is pushed onto the stack then you have 3 it is a digit push it onto the stack then again it will be pushed 2 will also be pushed then you have some operator remove two elements from the stack that means 3 and 2 are removed and they are added so 3 plus 2 is 5 5 is pushed back to the stack then again remove two elements and multiply them so five threes are 15 15 is pushed on to the stack then last one is plus plus means remove two elements and add them so both of them they are removed 15 and 10 are removed and they're added 25 25 is pushed back onto the stack like this so this is the scenario after this entire input what will happen again you will come back here get care will be executed but now this file has ended so this condition it will become false and you will come out of this loop that means you will execute this line this line says print f percent c pop now there is a small problem here also pop is going to return some integer because in stack only numbers can be present only digits were pushed into the stack so at any time only digits can be present pop will return 25 you are trying to print 25 as a character that means 25 will be treated as a sky value and it will be printed onto the screen but a sky values from 0 to 31 these are all not printable for example one of these numbers from 0 to 31 it is for beep one of them is for start of a heading one of them might be for start of text and so on some character or some number might be for escape also so all of these they have some meaning you can just search it online but the thing is they are not printable okay so whatever you are trying to print here is a non-printable character or non-printable command so this line will not print anything or it might also print some gibberish that is based on what compiler or what IDE you are using okay it can be different from machine to machine so the output is not deterministic anyways this question had four options all of the four options they were numbers and one of those options it contained 25 so in such cases ignore these small mistakes okay ignore the fact that this might print some gibberish or nothing might be printed simply declare this as answer okay so 25 is the answer to this question if we ignore small points 
such as this header file is not included or integer will be returned by pop and it is trying to